Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Night of the Dead. I am Zystars, and we need to build a drone because we need a skinning drone. I totally didn't do that before, and it's kind of biting me in the butt. So let's see. Five circuits, a plug, a quantum circuit. Do we have... Okay, I don't have one of those. Okay. B. B. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna... Oops. Uh, no. E, we're gonna tell you to skin at 25 meters. We are going to wire you up. And boom. Boom shakalaka, baby. Alright, how... Holy crap. Look at all of that. Uh, there's so much here, like, it's not going to be able to, let me just take it all. That way it'll be able to keep cycling. Um, let's put all of that in, all of that in. And once that's done skinning everything, we'll transfer the meat, but 70 will be fine for now. Um, I don't even think we're going to have room for all of this stuff in our food box. Like, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to store stuff this is this is insanity how is our do we have everything turned off yeah oh except the traps it is bright as crap out here all right <laughs> yeah like boink. yeah see we've still got we've still got so much food on us oh my goodness oh and look at all this plastic and rubber we've got like, this is absolutely insane. And then all of this rubber tree stuff. Nope, not that one. Yeah. See, we've got we've got more than we could possibly ever use. So we're never going to have to worry about sticks. We're never going to have to worry about... Oh, can I break this lumber down and turn it back into logs? No, because I'm going to need this stuff. Okay, let's put the dirt aluminum away. Yeah, see, we got we got just all these berries and stuff. I should look and see what all we can we can cook now. Here, give me all of that. Can we cook like the good stuff now? Um, we need cooking oil for that, and for cooking oil, we need stuff we've got. We could make a couple more of those. The steak dinner is like the best one. The steak platter adds the stir-fry veggies and the roasted mushrooms and fruits, plus you have to buy the healthy juice, so it's not really worth it. I'd rather just carry around the roasted mushrooms, so we're not going to do that, but I think we will grab... I thought we had some... some cooking oil. Maybe I used it. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Okay, so we can make 11 of these steak dinners. So can I make 11 cooking oil? I can. So let's make 11 of those. That'll get that out of the way. And these aren't just going to stack, so it's not that big a deal. Can I make 11 meat stews? So is there a meal that goes with the meat stew? Nope. How about this one? Uh, no. Birthday party. What is this? Golden Koi? We're definitely not doing that. Oh, here we go. The slow food. Oh, energy and protection. We can make the spicy fish stew. Where do you make that? Oh, here we go. Uh, I can make 10 of those. And how many meat stews can I make? Oh, easy. Okay. So let's make 10 of those, and then we'll make uh, 9 of these. And then we'll make... There we go. And roasted mushrooms. Ah, I don't think we have enough roasted mushrooms to make. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just knock out 10 of those. Okay, well that used up some some of my 
some of my stuff. That that was pretty sweet. So when we need the, the trifecta, we'll just eat these. Look at that. That's going to give us so much energy. And then movement speed when we need it. The steak. That gives us an extra 100 energy. That is that is great. All right. Uh, what else? Can we make anything else that's cool? Probably not. I think I can't make this carrot cake. This is this does some super healing. Oh, we need a cookie, and for the cookie we need dough, and for the dough we need uh, we have everything for it. I could just make the super cookie and have that be my healing item, but I never use healing items like ever. So I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. I mean. It's just a bunch of crap that I never use, so yeah. Pastas. Like, the rest of this I don't really care about. Actually, that one might be kind of cool. When when it comes time for me to do a bunch of fishing, because I'm, I'm going to need to, to do more upgrades. Okay, now, I think it's going to use up our wood. So those zombies were jumping over the thingamadoo like a bunch of jerks. Let me drive over here real quick. So they jumped over this wall... Now, is there any... Oh, I'm running out of stone, too. Is there... I don't see any holes in the wall over here. Let's just double check. Make sure there's no holes in the wall. No, everything looks pretty solid. Yeah. Oh! I totally forgot about this. I mean, it's, it's almost completely segregated or sectioned off like almost completely sectioned off right it's got these jersey barriers here so the regular zombies aren't going to jump over it but the giants can definitely get over this so they may not have jumped over the wall they may have just walked up over here okay so i am going to what do you call it i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some walls up now i definitely saw regular zombies but I'll just put some walls up on top of these jersey barriers. Because, hot damn. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need to grab stone on the way back. Because we are, we are almost completely out of stone. So bear with me. I am going to do some stone mining. Why are we not jumping on this? Okay, that's weird. I'm going to do some stone mining real quick. And then we'll go back and we'll put up some walls. These zombies just jumping over walls. Look at that shit. They don't even care about these walls. That is insane. Just regular zombies, not even on Horde Night. Just just hopping over over walls. Look at that guy go. It's like a ladder to him. Ha! All right, what's the best way to handle this? I'm thinking... Um. Oh, shoot. I need some plastic and rubber to upgrade the gate because i'm gonna need a i'm gonna want a gate there and get some plastic and rubber pretty sure it's plastic and son of a bitch plastic and rubber there's got to be a better way to do this there there is i could walk around and stop being a chump but we've got so much plastic and rubber it is absolutely fine to use a little bit of it on this gate all right uh, the other thing is shooting mlrs rockets into my gardens that kind of sucks but they they seem to come from here so if we do a protective wall like this, we can do a gate here. We can do a wall here. Uh, that maybe. Whoops, damn it. There we go. I ought to do that. Yeah, and we'll do that in case we need to see through it. Yeah. Okay, so that should stop the big zombies because there's no there's no other entrance to this area that's not blocked off. So that should stop the zombie the big zombies from wanting to path here. Maybe. The other thing is they might path to this, and then the MLRS will just shoot them, and I'm fine with that if they do that. Now, as far as the zombies that are jumping up here, they're they're climbing over the wall. The only way I can think of 
to to deal with that is to put is to f completely fail jumping altogether. Why are we not? There we go. Okay. Now I don't know if this will work. Okay, apparently it will. Uh Well, it's pretty close right there. No. Oh, crap. Okay, now that's fine. It won't let me do the fine... the fine-tune off of that thing. Okay, so if we do that... and then... it won't let me... it won't let me do it. Okay, we'll have to do it unhooked. Okay, that is about right. And if we go like this... Well, I'll be damned. I had enough material to do it. I had to use this thing, because for some reason while I was walking around on the... Uh, on the wall there, there was a point where I kept falling off, so that shit was no good. Alright, so we've got this outer area. So now the zombie, the big zombie, should, I hope go through there. Barring that, they'll be stuck on the thing and I'll just shoot them. And hopefully it won't blow up my damn my damn uh, thing I'm gonna do. Oh, we need we need to we need to get this back up and running. Oh, look at that. It's not it's not perfectly flat. Hey, dumbass. Stop being stupid. All right. Demolish Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, now we need to even this truck out. Really? Ooh, that's pretty close. Let's see what that does. All right. That's pretty close. Let's... All right, floor. Oops. Let's see... What's happening? Is it... Why is it snapping? Oh, maybe that was the problem. I wasn't snapping it. Right? Is that the middle? Yeah, that looks pretty middle ground. I like that. Okay, that'll work. Alright, so now let's do... That and that. Now, up here, can we do this to give it a little bit of character? There we go. Put that along the front. That'll give that a little bit of character. I like it. Uh, um, the, you know what? Let's just do that in the back, too. I like it. Now, can we do a... Stairs. Uh, yes. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this! <laughs> oh god. That's funny. Whoops. Okay. Now, did we bring enough stuff? Mm, yeah, we got plenty. Alright, we're back up. Back in business. Uh, now... As far as the roof goes, we'll put the more we'll put the roof on once we get some more bricks because we're down to what fifteen. So that's that's not really going to be worth dealing with right now. Let's see how it drives with this with his tail on it. Seems to seems to go just fine. Well, that's good. That'll be nice. That'll be nice to not have to uh, what do you call it? Jump up inside of it anymore. Sweet. All right, now oh, let's get back to base. Whoop! Hey, bird. Uh, really? <laughs> really, bird? <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, he flew off. Hello, motorcycle. Now, just jump in here. Yes. Jump up on here, and jump across. Sweet. 
Okay, there we go. Yep, and that's doing its business over there now. So every, everything's back to copacetic levels. Excellent. Now, as far as the base goes, it held up really well. Uh, nobody really got in, there, uh, got in. so the biggest problem was the giants. Ooh, that reminds me. You know, I kind of want a catwalk. I kind of want a catwalk going across from base to base. Only problem is... How would I do that? Um, these walls, I could do it right here. Oh, I'm out of brick. Okay, we're not going to do it right now. Might upgrade my traps too. Though if I do that, I'm going to need to upgrade my trap control, or my traps uh, power uh, supply, which is fine. But right now, we're not doing that. Let's go 68. Okay. 68 rounds is a good amount. How are these doing? Did they shoot? 284... 283, 82. I don't know if these shot at the Giants, but maybe they did. Um, ow. Okay. Oh, I should upgrade these as well. I should just upgrade all of my electronics to the highest level. Okay, well, I think we got, we got the base sorted. Um, oh, you know what's not sorted? I need more stone for it, though. We're going to need to tear this down and come back a little bit for the base. I don't know. Will the giants attack this side? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I only have a little bit of small stone left, but I definitely want to tear this down. So let's do this before I forget. All right. Now, hopefully this is enough. You know, I'll probably just avoid putting much on this wall. Are we not? There we are. Ooh. Can't overlap other objects, me. Can we do this? Sometimes it lets you go diagonal through these things. No. All right. That's fine. We'll just, uh... We'll put ba banister. We'll put, uh, aw. Oh, I need some more stick. We'll put railings there. That'll be sweet. <laughs> uh, this one? Yeah. Give me some sticks. Give me some sticks. Yeah, there we go. Zoop. Right like that. All right. We are gonna grab... We're gonna go after a, uh, book. The one that lets us do more damage to trees. Not that we're probably going to be doing a whole lot of damage against trees. I just want to have all the books and all the skills. Die, damn it. Okay, so I think... Yeah, I think it's in here. And according to the... Journal. According to this, it's in a big room on a table next to a, a, a red barrel. What we got in here? Oh, okay, this is all the electronics. Sweet. Do I hear? No. Ooh, I should have brought the flamethrower. Ah. Red table. Let's see. If I was... Well, we've got some containers in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so it's definitely not in this room. Let's do it. Okay, so that's the little one. Here's the plus 60. Okay, so it does add more. And we'll go for some movement speed and a hamburger. Because we're going to be we're going to be murdering folks. Oh, I love how fast you go with this stuff. With the that it it feels way more than 10%. All right. Um Take that. I don't need the rest of that stuff. Let's see what else do we have. Okay. I'll take ammunition. That'll wake everybody up. All right, I'm going to stop looting. We'll I'll loot later. Uh Oh, is this it? Oh, that was easy. Muscle memory. Sweet. All right, let's uh what else we got in here? Eh, nothing really good in here. What's up here? Screamer. Some stuff, a couple of things. Uh I've been in here before. I feel like I've had that book. 
I bet I had that book and I sold it or ripped it apart or something. What's this? Okay, that's just one of those. All right. Now, the other thing I want to find is a factory with the porter. The porter book. I think it's over here. So let's go take a let's go look for that. Holy crap, look at that airport. That would be an insane place to do a base. Oh! Human 3D printer. Hold on. Oops, wrong one. J. That was crafting quest number 32. Or 23. I'm in pickaxe. 22? Ah, here we go. Master builder. Okay, so the master builder book is nearby. Uh, car showman. Human 3D printers in the airport. And it looks like it's in a building, an office building with a board of some sort. It looks like a paper cutter. Okay, well, let's go. How does one get into the airport? Obviously, I haven't been to the airport yet. Uh, uh, I see a fence. Oh, here we go. Can get in right there. Look at all these cars. Is this it? Yeah, it's this building. Someone said this would, inside there the zombies can't get to you because of the fencing. So either he was wrong or they opened this up. But hell, we know zombies can climb walls now, or so jump over walls, climb over them, whatever. So all of that is just holy crap! Jesus. <laughs> Wonder if it's on the second floor or not. Uh, I'm seeing regular stuff in here. Regular stuff, regular stuff. There's no office in here. Oh, there's the box. Laser sword. <laughs> uh, and made snipey do. Okay, I mean it's not great stuff, but it'll it'll do. Ooh, what do we get out of this TV? Oh, chainsaw. All right. Well, it's obviously not in here, so may. Oh, oh, that's funny. Ow, jerk. Uh, hmm. Oh, here's one. All right, crossbows. Uh, no. Ooh, ATM machines. I will always take apart ATM machines. All right, let, well. Come here, dude. All right, journal item. Crafting quest. 22, human 3D printer. Oh. Uh, it says it's to my left. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's see what this uh, warehouse is all about, these hangers. All right, well, that was riveting. Let's see. All right, I'm not seeing desks, so I am I feel like this isn't what's going on in here. Yeah, I think I must have missed something. Well, that wasn't it. Where else? I guess we could go look in that airplane. That'd be kind of weird for the for the airplane to have a paper cutter in it. But I'm I'm running out of I'm running out of places to look in this airport. Can I in? Holy crap! I feel like there's a whole bunch of dudes that are just coming in. There's something back here. Oh, it's just a coil box. I mean, I won't say no to coils. Mm hmm. Hmm. Right. Well, that wasn't it. Look at all these wrecked airplanes. I'm a complete idiot. It's not an office. It's right here. 
It's not a paper cutter I saw. It was the angle of that thing. They they took the snapshot from over here. Like this. Or something along those lines. So dumb. <laughs> I spent so much time. Oh, man. Uh, oh, me. Okay, so the next one is down here. In the warehouse. It's on a it's on a crate in the warehouse, so that would be to the south. Holy crap! That's not what it as intended. Oh, neither was that. Okay, warehouse should be somewhere down. Yeah. Oh. Ha! It's the logistics building. All right. First, we gotta kill this screamer because they annoy me. All right, let's see. That's should be on the floor here with a on a crate. Uh, kind of looks like that crate, but no, it's not that. Oh, here it is. Ha ha, got it. What else is in here? Ah, reward box. Ha ha. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. That's another book down. Alright, we're back at base. We got all the gear sorted. Now we need to put this somewhere the giant isn't going to get it blown up. Hmm. Where should we put it? I'm kind of tempted to put it just up in this corner. You know, like in here and around the corner. I mean, it's completely empty as far as um, cargo. So why don't we just tuck it in here. Kill this zombie. Let's grab all of this stuff out of it. Just in case shit gets weird. And we will gear up for the horde. Let's get this done. Nice. Oh, and we gotta we gotta do some research. Gotta do some research. Since we got we got some sweet books. We can do some sweet research. Give me all that. Uh where's my research station? Here we go. Okay, let's see here. We got Legendary Porter. Now we can hold more stuff. Legendary Worker, Car Thief, Master Builder. So all the survival skills are done. Combat, uh, yeah, we're only at two of those. Oh, we found the Doctor one. So healing items, 30% more healing. Utility is done. Oh, and we need to find some more of these. I wouldn't mind... Like some of these. That's an additional three percent damage. Some more risk minimization. Yeah, I, I gotta gotta find some more cells. All right. Well, that's all of that. So, really, all we have are these ones that require that book. We gotta find some more of those. Some more of those kids. The kids. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's prep for the horde. I got to put all this crap away and get my weapons out and my ammo and all that good stuff. Well, looky here, the wave started. So we're doing things a little differently today. Uh, we're gonna fight the horde. We're gonna, well, at least we're gonna start fighting the horde from up here. The base is all ready to go. We shouldn't have any giants tonight, so we should be. We should be good there. We're going to flame, and we are going to fight up here as long as we can. Now, we can jump down without any problem. Ooh, let's eat a burger. We can jump down and, with minimal damage and get back to the base, so we should we should be okay. <laughs> I know this is a little bit nuts, but... And the zombies can get up here just fine. I can't get up top all the way, but the zombies can get up here. Oh, look, there's, there's sweet booty up here. Because I have respawn on because why the hell not you know you play a game to have fun though here they come 
<laughs> Holy crap, look at them all. Oh look, they're ju they're falling down in the middle of the bridge. You see that? <laughs> yeah, there they are. <laughs> Here they come. The first few will probably will probably use the sword. Let's see. Yep, there they go. They're going over the spinner. They're going over the spinner. They're coming up. This is probably bad because of the lag. The lag's probably going to kill me. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can swing this thing just fine up here. Oh, I should have put some traps down there. I didn't think to do this to the, like, the last second, so... Oh, wait, they're not... Are they not coming up? Oh, Shocker's getting a few of them. Are they not coming up? Oh, look at that! Oh, what the f... <laughs> I think I've confused them. They can't get up this thing. Where are they going? Oh, they are they are going after those walls. Yeah, they they don't seem to understand they can get me from here. Huh! Ain't that some shit? So yeah, they just they went into destroy everything mode. Rather than uh rather than uh what do you call it? Just stand around. They went into destroy everything mode. This little seven days to die nomenclature. Look at that guy over there. What those guys they're just up there up on that wall they're they're trying to get over but they can't because of the wall i put up so they're probably just gonna destroy it interesting so now that they're fighting me if i go up here what happens yeah they're just over there look at them throwing that log Breaking the AI. Because this silly game has got things like unbreakable terrain. This is how ridiculous this is. Look at him climbing that thing. I up upgraded this flamethrower all the way for shiggles and giggles. Just to kind of play with it a little bit. We got absolutely just massive amounts of, of gasoline now, so I'm not overly concerned about it. Oh, did I not turn on the flamethrower? I must not have. Flamethrower! Oh my god, this thing is wildly effective. Interesting. I wonder how how much of an effect that's going to have. And maybe if they take one of those walls down, will they all of a sudden come over it? I wonder. Or finding the best land for farming. Oh, that's right. They want me to make they want me to go to the windmill and and build a uh what's a majinger? Do not throw things at me. I am invincible. Look at these guys. Could I fight right here? And just leave them in the in the blade. these guys all fighting right here oh you know what where's it number six? Oh, hey that guy got behind me burn sucker 
Burn, sucker! <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Cause we're gonna burn! I swear I've got this on Survivor difficulty. My character is just OP at this point. Who needs traps to fight a horde? Are they still up on the thing? Yeah, those idiots. Oh! Trying to pull me into the blades. What a bunch of jerks. This is one way to gain some levels, I guess. I'm at 80 and Whoa, how'd that guy get up there? The little ones aren't even making it past the blade trap. And I didn't even upgrade that one to titanium yet. That's probably the next thing to do. Upgrade that, that blade trap to titanium. And that way we can, uh... We can kill these guys even more efficiently. That first blade trap is the cheddar, man. It is doing God's work. Ow! Oh, I think I got hit by the zappy dude. Oh yeah, upgrade that first blade trap to titanium. Put a damage augment on it, because I don't think I don't think I put a damage augment on that one yet. Now I wonder if this is slowing the horde down. Not uh not using the traps. You know? I wonder if it's slowing the horde down. There we go. Let's let's let the traps have some biz. We we can't let the traps be all uh, neglected, you know. You, you can't let your traps be neglected. That door needs closed anyway. Flamethrower. Oh no, that flamethrower was on. It, they just never got close enough to uh, activate it. Well, that was exciting. Where's my Molotovs? Uh, sort. Here they are. I don't need the fishing rod right now. Oh, there! Yeah, I can fire. How are we doing over there? Oh, I don't see him on the wall anymore. Oh, there's one. Can I hit him? No. Not from here, anyway. Can I hit him from here? Oh, yeah, he's going down. Oh, my food's about to go down. That isn't good. Let's get those refreshed. One, two, ow! And three. Look at that! What a mess! Oh, uh, what else we got up here? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, I don't have my my repair. Where's my repair tool? Here it is. How are we looking here? These are still fine for now. That is exciting. That was cool. That was a lot of fun. Blaming them, or cutting those buggers down. I wonder if it slowed down the horde, you know? Like, less less spawns because my traps aren't trapping. Oh, 
Look at the flamethrower, just just going. Just flamethrowering. Oh, seriously? How did you idiots get in there? I put walls here. Oh, are you guys spawning in there? You dummy. I have not the foggiest how they're getting in there. Hey, guy. Now they're going around. Yeah, I, I don't know how they're getting in there. They're getting around here. They're getting confused. You know what I could probably do? I could probably put a couple of ballista up here to bugger any of those guys. I wonder if I need to do something about that zone in there. Oh, yeah, there's another guy in there. How did he get in there? Shoot. I'm going to have to wall this whole area off. I'm going to have to do something to wall this whole area off because we can't... Uh-oh. Am I stuck in here? I'm going to have to do something to wall this area off because I can't have idiots getting in there. Uh, but if I wall it off, then the zombies won't have a path to get back around and they'll start attacking things that they shouldn't be. Hmm. Oh, do I have any stone on me? I'm going to need to repair that. Yeah, I got a little bit. I need to repair these things. Yeah. Otherwise, these zombies are just going to destroy this area here. Yeah. I'm going to have to do something. I'm just not sure what yet. Oh my god, seriously? Oh my god, there's more over there. This definitely creates an interesting... Wait, what am I looking at right there? Oh, okay. I thought I was looking at a giant. That was kind of weirding me out. But they're, they're oddly, like, passive. They're just kind of sitting there. Not really attacking anything. Yeah, so I, I made a mistake not putting the the enemy or the, the the things on the outside. I should have I should have started from the ground and built up from the outside. Maybe I'll rip all of those down and fix that. I'm not sure what effect that's gonna have on the horde. It looks like we're getting we're getting a little quieter here. It's 2 a.m., so most of the zombies are done by now. Our plasma shocker, yeah, we're, it's getting a little low on power. All right, let's let's kill that. Um, there's probably some random zombie down there. Yeah. Hey, guy. <laughs> There's crap all over the place, like... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I think putting those walls up has... The horde's gonna take longer now. Because I have to go clean up all those zombies. Uh, yeah, and fighting out here means these bags are all over the place. What's going on here? Are these, like, plant pieces? Yeah, some plants got destroyed. Probably with my flamethrower. Alright, let's go see what's going on out here. Oh, I don't have my light on. Alright, hey zombie. Oh, here we go. Alright. It's weird they got stuck there. 
I mean, it's also weird that they climb walls, but it is what it is. Oh, here's where the rocket launcher took out a few of them. Okay, rocket launcher did pretty good. Yeah, we got a bunch of them here, too. Fantastic. How about this side of the wall? Yeah, I may have to come down. There we go. Oh, here's there. This is this clump. Oh, there's a bear. Hey, guy. There's a bear. Why didn't it pick those up? Oh, you jerk. Is that bear dead? Like, did the zombies kill it or did my rocket launcher kill it? Ow. Yeah, see, now, doing this, I have to go around. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, there's that guy. I'm not too overly concerned about the bags, but... Okay, let's see. We got any more? I only went to here. And I don't think they're bothering this area. Yeah, they're not they're not clumping up in there. Okay, I think I think when I finished off those zombies, everything is done. Zombies are done. Can I do this? Oh no. Jump! Oh, nice. Oops. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that appears to... What? Oh, you ass. Oh, there's a whole bunch of dummies over there. Can I hit you with, like, this thing? There we got you. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to rip that down. Ah, oh, man. I can put that thing up. I don't even know if I can stack these things or not. I don't know. That was a that was a good horde though. I, I had I had fun with that. Now it will be a little a little different, you know, when the giants show up. I mean I can melee the giants too. It's not that big a deal. There's just a bunch of them, so it, it makes it kind of difficult. Obviously the traps didn't take any damage. Or, well, this area probably did. Let's see. Yeah, you got a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. That one's a little more than a little bit. Let's give that a cheeky repair. Oh, that give that a cheeky repair. And that one. Oh, I thought I hit R there for a second. All right, let's jump over this. Take all of that. Take all of that. Okay, that's getting a little damage. That one is absolutely fine. I took a little damage. I took none. Oh. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in here, just like we would expect. Oh, that thing's still going. How are you doing? You got 900 fuel left. Do I have any fuel on me? Yeah, we'll throw some more fuel in there. I don't remember how much I had in there, but... Is that a zombie? Oh, fuck! Listen here, zombies. Ooh. We get anything useful? Uh, uh, eh. Not really. Just a bunch of junk to shred. I was hoping coming over here we'd get better loot from the hordes, but that doesn't seem to have happened. Hey, why is that bloody again? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think that's going to cut the episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Leave a comment in the comments section and share the video with your buddies because YouTube says sharing is caring. And as always, everyone, I do hope that you have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.